Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of MZ Rants. So, August of 2016 is when Suicide Squad comes out. Yes, it's pretty much a whole nother year from now. I still have my issues with the movie. And yes, the trailer is out, I have seen it. And really it only answers one question that I had. I have very mixed feelings about this movie. I am not sure if this movie is going to be bad or not. That's the issue that seems to be going on. A lot of people hate this movie for various reasons that I will explain, and some people like it for various reasons that I will explain. Now, my issues with this movie, uh, the trailer actually answered one of my questions that I had. Was this movie gonna go back to its campy origins with like the fun action, or were they going to stick to the Christopher Nolan Dark Knight vibe? And it answered my question, yes, they are sticking with the Christopher Nolan thing. Christopher Nolan's Batman was good in itself. And when people try to mimic that, it kind of loses its value, I guess. I personally, this is just me personally, I don't know if anybody out there would, would agree with me, but I would honestly have loved to have seen this movie filmed almost like a grindhouse film. That, to me, would be pretty cool. It would have the over-the-top action that Batman once had back in like when Tim Burton did it and dare I say when mm, what's his face that we that we shall not name half that being I actually legitimately forgot his name pretty much uh, my other issues with this is one of them being Will Smith as Deadshot. Now, I'm not going to go the route that some people have where, oh, Deadshot's not black, ma. You know, I had no problem with, say, you know, Samuel Jackson as Nick Fury, and Nick Fury wasn't black, but, you know, whatever. It, it, whatever. It's whatever. I really, no disrespect towards Will Smith. In fact, I think he's a phenomenal actor. I just think with his past couple of movies, he's kind of... I think he's really trying to redeem himself with this movie, but my main issue is that I just don't see him as Deadshot. I, you know, I feel like if I go and see this movie and be like, oh, that's just Will Smith shooting people. Gee, haven't seen that before. But it's also the fact that I think, truth be told, I believe that Will Smith's true role in this movie is to be that actor everyone is familiar with. He is the actor that will bring people to see this show because, oh, it's got Will Smith in it. I know who that is. That's just like if they say film a Justice League movie and then cast Johnny Depp as Batman. Ooh. To me, I think that is what Will Smith's true role is. And like I said, he's not a bad actor. I just think in the midst of all these actors that, quite frankly, you've never heard of, I personally have never heard of them until this movie, and damn it, my phone is ringing. I will be right back. Ah, uh, and we're back. I'm so sorry about that. Anyway, what was I saying? Hmm, Will Smith, yeah, Will Smith, Will Smith, and Will Smith, and Will Smith, and Will Smith, and Will, Will Smith's kids. Now, I am going to address the elephant in the room. And that is Jared Leto being the Joker. First off, I am just going to say he certainly has a love-hate relationship with a lot of Batman fans. Now, me being a Batman fan myself, and for the main reason I like Batman is for the villains being Joker being like in the top Two, Jared Leto has a lot... Um, he has some big shoes to fill. I mean some big shoes to fill. I mean, of course, you had Jack Nicholson. Uh, before Jack Nicholson, you had Cesar Romero, but, but you had Jack Nicholson as the Joker. You had Heath Ledger as the Joker. Hell, you had Mark Hamill as the Joker. And then, hell, you even had John DiMaggio being the Joker. I mean, come on! He has got so, he's got such huge shoes to fill, especially especially in the Hollywood adaptation of Batman. I mean, you had Heath Ledger who portrayed the Joker so flawlessly. I mean, he gave a 
terrifying performance. Now, I'm not gonna lie, that's gonna be very hard to top. Heath Ledger blew Jack Nicholson out of the water. Now, I'm not saying that Jared Leto's gonna do a bad job. For all we know, he could do a phenomenal job. He can do a job, he can do a better job than Heath Ledger. We don't know until we see it. However, we've seen the concept arts, we've seen the way he looks, and now with the preview, we know how he's gonna act. And I'm not gonna lie, so far I'm not impressed. I mean, the laugh, Oh, come on! Talk about forced! You look at all of the Joker's laughs. I mean, you have Jack Nicholson. You've got Mark Hamill. Cesar Romero. Hell, John DiMaggio. And then, and then of course you have Heath Ledger's laugh. <laughs> I mean, all of them sound unique in their own way, but not forced. But then again, I don't know. It's a big I don't know with, with Jared Leto. And, but one thing that really kind of peeves me is that he seems to really be milking off of Heath Ledger's performance. I mean, his voice. I'm just gonna hurt you. Really, really bad. Come on, like that, they sound almost identical. As I said, so far I'm not too impressed with it, but at the same time, I don't know. He could do a very good job. But considering the fact that they're sticking with the whole, you know, Christopher Nolan realistic look, he kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. He looks like he should be in the cartoon. The silver teeth and the, the very obvious dyed hair. And, and I'm sorry, this is just a, this is just something that, uh, the tattoos to me are a little overboard. I feel like they did with this Joker like they did with Tim Burton's Mad Hatter. They just went overboard. I get it, the Joker is, and mind the pun, batshit crazy, but Come on, you can portray a really crazy person without without obviously looking like, ah, I'm crazy, ah! You can be crazy without emphasizing that you're crazy. As I said, the Joker's one of my top favorite Batman villains of all time. I can't imagine anybody who doesn't like the Joker. I mean, I'm sure there's people out there that don't, but at the same time, he's a very well-loved villain. Here's my thing. I mean, this is kind of where I'm, where I'm kind of like, I kind of hope he's not a big character. I mean, I really hope that he's not one of the main antagonists. I just hope he's there for like a couple of scenes and that's it. I mean, as much as I love the Joker, I think with this portrayal, he should just be a minor character. Because I mean, after all, this is Harley Quinn's big chance with the, on the silver screen. Because all we've seen of her was the, um, the, Arkham, the Arkham games and the animated series. And I'm, I'm sure there's probably other adaptations that I'm not naming off, but she's definitely a villain that's not, not on there very much, which is sad because she's a fun little villain. That's what I'm hoping uh, this movie will do. I mean, uh, looking at the preview, I have seen that it looks pretty cool. It looks like a decent action movie. Again, with some of these other videos that I've said, I have been lied to by previews. I mean, I have been, the, the, they'd show these awesome things, all the cool scenes that makes you go, whoa, this looks awesome. And then you go and see the movie and it sucks. But hopefully that's not the case with this movie, but I guess myself and other Batman fans will go and see this movie and see for themselves and draw a full, conclusive opinion about it. I am the MZ, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.